Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. First news. Hurricane Harvey has submerged 30% of Harris County, home to Houston, in dangerous contaminants. The county has at least a dozen federal Superfund sites, identified by the federal government as home to unsafe levels of toxic waste, which include lead, arsenic, and other toxic carcinogens. Runoff and explosions from the city's industrial sector can release other hazardous compounds and noxious fumes from various petroleum and chemical plants. People in Houston also face the dangers of bacteria contamination in floodwaters due to leaking sewage. Local scientists are currently trying to collect water samples and use the data to determine what residents are being exposed to as they wade through floodwaters. A Brazilian court has blocked an attempt by the president, Michel Temer, to open a vast national reserve in the Amazon to mining. The region is the size of Denmark at 46,000 square kilometers and is thought to contain deposits of gold, copper, iron ore, nickel, and manganese. The government has said the reserve is being abolished to attract foreign investment, improve exports, and boost a struggling economy, and claimed the change of status would not affect protected forest areas and indigenous territories in the region. But opposition Senator Randolph Rodriguez denounced the move as, quote, the biggest attack on the Amazon of the last 50 years. The federal judge Rolando Valcier Spaniolo said the president went beyond his authority in his actions. London's borough market will replace single-use plastic bottle sales with free drinking fountains in an effort to become the UK's biggest food shopping destination that is entirely plastic-free. Three new water fountains with reusable water bottle fillers have already been set up. Following a zero-waste initiative, the market will also make all other packaging biodegradable and compostable. According to Darren Hennigan, Managing Director of Borough Market, it's great that people are increasingly aware of the health benefits of keeping hydrated, but we've been troubled to see increasing numbers of plastic bottles used every day, which damage the environment and add to litter. A recent Guardian campaign revealed that 38.5 million plastic bottles are bought in the UK every day, of which just over half are recycled. Much of the permafrost that covers Alaska is slowly thawing due to climate change, which releases more greenhouse gases in the air that contributes to more warming in a self-reinforcing cycle. Permafrost is the layer of frozen ground that contains organic matter. Plants that took carbon dioxide from the atmosphere centuries ago died and froze before they could decompose. Woods Hole scientists have taken core samples of the ground to better understand the effects of the melting permafrost and how much and what mix of greenhouse gases is released. Thawing can also have a devastating impact on infrastructure, causing the slumping of land and coastline and the widening of rivers. New Talk is one of several remote Alaskan villages that is being forced to relocate due to warming temperatures. Rivers in major cities are a source of untapped potential for some entrepreneurs, who envision passenger vessels as a daily means of travel for residents. If successful, it could alleviate congestion and crowded public transport, and reduce air pollution. However, before waterways become the road of the future, boat operators must overcome challenges, such as increasing the occupancy size of their vessels and reducing their environmental impact. French company Sea Bubbles has been testing their electric water taxi along the Seine in Paris, while the Tokyo water taxi is hoping to take advantage of the network of rivers and canals flowing into Tokyo Bay. In Southampton, England, a company called Reap Systems has developed a hybrid water taxi boat, which can switch between a fuel engine and electric motor. That's all for this week's environmental news report. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. See you next week.